Hi, welcome to the VPC and networking section of this course. In this section, we'll learn Amazon Virtual Private Cloud and its components. VPC is an important part of any AWS certification exam. We'll first start with the basics of networking, where we'll discuss IP address, subnet, network mask, seeder, if you are already familiar of this, then you can skip this part. We will then learn virtual private cloud and its components. We will look into subnets, internet gateway. Then we will look into NAT gateways and NAT instances. We will look into route tables. We will also look into security groups and network access control lists. So, Let's get started with the network primer. IP address. IP address is used to identify devices that are connected to internet or inside a network. There are two different version formats of IP addresses. One of them being IPv4 and the other is IPv6. IPv4 address has 32 bits where four octet is separated by a dot. For example, this is an IPv4 address. IPv4 address is expressed using decimal numbers. In this example, this IP address is written as 192.171.56.136. We can have maximum 4.3 billion different IPv4 addresses. Now with the rapid growth of internet, the number of devices has increased drastically over the last decade, which means there is a possibility of ex exhaustion of IPv4 addresses. IPv6 address format can support much larger number of devices. It was developed to deal with possible depletion of IPv4 addresses. IPv6 address is represented as eight groups of four hexadecimal digits which are separated by colon. For example, here is an IPv6 address. As you can see, there is eight hexadecimal digits separated by colon. An IPv6 address is therefore 128 bits. IPv6 can accommodate 340 undecillion IP addresses. To be precise, here is the number. Even though the push for IPv6 started more than a decade ago, IPv4 is still used widely and most commonly. On this VPC section, we will discuss and concentrate around IPv4. Classful network. When you create VPC or subnet on AWS, IPv4 address range is specified in the form of classless interdomain routing block. Often known as CIDR or CIDR. So here we'll touch upon the concepts of CIDR and its brief history. CIDR was introduced in 1993. Until then, Classful Network was the addressing architecture. Classful Network used to divide IPv4 address space into five different classes. Class A. Here, the most significant bit is zero. The first octet is used to identify the network. Next three octets are used to identify the host inside the network. Class B, here the most significant two bits are one zero. First two octets are used to identify the network. Last two octet are used to identify the host inside the network. Class C. Here, first three most significant bits are 110 and first three octet are used to identify the network and the last octet is used to identify the host inside the network. Then there are um, class D and class E. Class D is basically used for multitasking. Here, the first four bits are 1, 1, 1, 0. And then 
there is also class e which is reserved for experimental purposes and future use in this case first four bits are one 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 so if we if we think that uh, an ip address is w dot x dot y dot z class a address the w value can be from 1 to 126 uh, we need to remember that 127 is basically used for loopback address on the local computer class b the w can be 128 to 191 and class c from 192 to 223 so basically class a network there are only 126 different networks available but there can be 16 million hosts inside a network so obviously class a networks can be used by isps or um, organizations where there are a huge number of computers and devices that needs ip addresses and then class b is a medium-sized network there are around 16,000 different networks and each network can have 65,000 hosts. Class C, you can have around 2 to 3 million different networks. Here is the exact number. And each network can have 254 different hosts. This classful design had certain problem which led to introduction of CIDR. So for example, imagine that any organization needs only 1000 IP addresses. So they can have it two different ways. They can have one class B network or four class C networks. Now imagine if they use one class B network, they will get 65,000 different IP address out of which they can they will use only 1000. So 64,000 IP addresses will remain unused. If more and more organizations opt for class B addresses, then IPv4 address space will be depleted very quickly. If they go for poor class C network, then they will have to create complex routing to ensure seamless experience. These problems um, lead to the invention of classless interdomain routing.